Today is Tuesday, September 24th, and this is the Crest News in 90. I'm Kevin Lynch. Israel and Hezbollah traded fire again on Tuesday, including a new Israeli airstrike on Beirut. The death toll from a massive Israeli bombardment has climbed to nearly 560 people, and thousands have fled from southern Lebanon. Displaced families slept in shelters hastily set up in schools in Beirut and the coastal city of Sidon. With hotels quickly booked to capacity or rooms priced beyond the means of many families, those who did not find shelter slept in their cars, in parks, or along the seaside. Tropical Storm John struck Mexico's southern Pacific coast with life-threatening flood potential after growing into a major hurricane in a matter of hours. Likewise, heavy rains and big waves lashed the Cayman Islands on Tuesday, as forecasters warned that a nearby cluster of thunderstorms could soon become a major hurricane en route to the southeast U.S. Boeing said Monday it made a best and final offer to striking workers that includes bigger raises and larger bonuses, but the workers' union said the proposal isn't good enough and there won't be a ratification vote before Boeing's deadline at the end of the week. The union, which has been on strike since, septem- since September 13th, complained that Boeing publicized its latest offer to 33,000 striking workers without first bargaining with union negotiators. For the Crest.News, I'm Kevin Lynch.